Okay, so setting up the texture bake. Well, first zoom out and then scale in. I want to get him so he fits on the screen. And what I'm going to do is hold shift to make sure he's snapped in his perfect side. Go into Z Appling Properties, and this is going to be my right and left view. Okay. Now, this is going to be my front and back view. Holding shift, don't forget that. It's my front. Okay, I'm going to choose my bottom first. And there we go. That's it. Do not use the custom one and custom two setting in here. Do not. Okay, there we go. So, now that I yelled at you, uh, let's see. What's the next thing? Well, now we go into Photoshop. So, I'm going to go to Z App Link and hit OK. It's going to yell at me. It says, says something. I missed something. Jason, you missed something. So, it hits cancel. Now, let's go into texture and hit colorize. That's what I missed. The app link, okay. In this part right here, I'm just making an action. I'm not even going to launch it, but I just want to make this action. And I want to make everything visible so I can understand everything. I'm going to think make this thing called texture bake for you. Okay, so in here, let's let's get all on the same face. So default workspace, and then actions. Here's my new actions. And I'm going to make a new action in here called Texture Bake. Record. Okay, so in Texture Bake, first thing I'm going to do is work only in my texture or layer palette here. And I'm going to make it and pull it off to the side and kind of see so I can see Do Not Edit. What I want to do is right click on Do Not Edit and duplicate it and I get do not edit copy I move that to front okay so now I have this one in front of this one and I go in here layer merge down so there's one hide that next one same thing duplicate layer move it down layer merge down depending on how many times you've done this in your lifetime you're pretty fast at it so Now, Control E on the keyboard is actually moved down. So, we cheat. Control E. Okay, now I'm going to unhide everything. This is my bake. And in here, I'm going to hit stop on my action. Now, just for entertainment's sake, now that I have that done, what I'm going to do is basically save this out and show you what happens. Okay, I'm going to re enter ZBrush. And I'm going to choose fade. Depending on how complex your model is, uh, things that interact with the model, let's say in my bottom view, that might work out. See, there's nothing that really uh, gets in the way. Okay, hit fade. Fade. Probably even my side views will turn out pretty good. Except for the ears. I, I can't expect that the ear information might be pretty good. But The tail? Yeah, I don't know. This might turn out really good just for the fact that... But the legs, see this leg is casting on upon the other leg? So that might ruin it.
All right, so to test this out, what I want to do is go into uh, the render, yes, and go to flat and look at it. Actually, that did a really nice job. I didn't want it to do a nice job, and that's that's the funny part about it. That did a better job than what I anticipated. So, what I'm going to do is the fact that if you have it, something that might collide with another model, and you might have that. Well, in here, you can just hide the rest of it and only bake out this one part. Okay, so let me save this model real quick not to ruin it and just kinda go over that and show you how I would how would I approach blending the seam so let's say the head is interacting with the body in some weird manner well over here let's z -app link this I have all the actions already laid out for top front left side and I can just uh, update. I have this new action in here called okay it's all black so let's go back to ZBrush uh, let's go back to the render and make sure it's on preview there we go so make sure it's on preview the app link okay Now, if I just want to bake the head, I can do that. I can do that, and all I do is have to go to Texture Bake and hit Play now. And it does all this information for me. And now I can just hit, hit Save. Re-enter ZBrush. Make sure Fade is on. All right, so let me show the rest of the model. What will happen here is I have a seam that shows up because I baked this thing twice. How do I get rid of said seam? So if it's a complex model, you might have to break it up into separate groups. Now, in here, well, to fix that seam, I just projection master it, colors fade, drop now and then choose my old faithful cloner brush with a very low opacity RBG Z add off hold control anywhere and I just blend that metal together now do not do this front and or side left and right only do it in one view. Okay, so there we go. And on this side, let's do the same thing. When you bake out metal, it's very complex. Remember, whoever captured this metal, it was based on right and left. So it's not going to be perfect right and left. just like that okay so if it didn't turn out that's another alternative now in the next video I can show you how to uh, bake this out to a texture and then put it in Maya